Been delighted with how it's went so far. We've seen massive improvements for last season, which was one of the main goals at the start of the season. We strengthened the squad. Some of our performances have been excellent and there's been real progress. You know, myself and Leanne and the rest of the staff had worked really hard on our principles during that pre-season period. We wanted to make us a better football team than what we were last year. And I think I can safely say that we have evolved and, and became a much better team. I think the dynamics are good. Hence the reason why I worked so hard at the start to bring her here. But I think we've both learned a lot about each other which is important mm -hmm. because I think in terms of what we offer can, can, can completely different at times as well which is good we don't always agree on things as well which I think is really healthy For us it's a collective effort and that's why I came to Motherwell that's why I came to work alongside Paul is that we knew there would be differences to it and his strengths are not necessarily my strengths and vice versa so it's important that we do bounce off one another and that for the players they have that balance as well that they can understand that at times he might be good cop I might be bad cop and Vice versa, there's there's no set role within it. The big goals that we spoke about obviously was trying to get into the top six this year, which unfortunately we just missed out on by a point. And the second goal was was trying to reach the Scottish Cup semi final. There were certain games that we had to win, had to perform, and we did that. Even I think back to the last game we had to go to Aberdeen and win, which is a tough venue to go to. On that day, what we dealt with everyone that came with it, that we had to win the game and done everything that we could. Unfortunately, we just missed out on it by a point, and that gives us then an opportunity to look at areas where we felt we said we could have done better at certain moments in certain games. This Tuesday, we're here at Fir Park against Glasgow Women and another really important league game for us. We were here last year and, and, and got the opportunity to play at the stadium. Unfortunately, we lost out that day to Hamilton and lost the game 1-0. But we even used that as an opportunity to learn. I think there's a real point to prove in terms of how we need to put that better, certainly in front of the home support. It's a top venue and I think the players have earned the right to be here. I think they've brought huge success to the football club this season. The level of profile they've gave to the club this year has been completely different to what's been done before. So this is a platform to go and play in and deserve the opportunity to do that. So on Saturday we go to the National Stadium to play Rangers in the Scottish Cup semi-final. We've worked really, really hard to get to this stage. It's fantastic that now that the Scottish Cup semi-finals and final are played at the National Stadium, so it gives us you know, an opportunity to make history as well. To speak to Leanne and the players after the game, to see how much it meant to them, and not just them as players, but you know their families as well, because it's a fantastic achievement for them. Right now, when you look at the other teams that are involved in it, you know they're, they're all full-time professional teams. Right now, our players don't have that status. They might not have the status, but they have the mentality because they think and act like professional players, and they train like professional players as well. What a feeling! I've got your hand in it. Woo! been quite fortunate enough to represent Scotland at various levels. I've been lucky enough to go to a European Championships and also a World Cup, but for me, at a personal level, it's probably the pinnacle in terms of obviously the opportunity to play here and also the opportunity to be at Hamden and, and, and manage and coach the side at Hamden. Certainly with the biggest achievement that I've had in, in my coaching journey, there's work going on behind the scenes to make sure that we evolve. That's probably the biggest thing in terms of the status of the league. It's evolving every year, every other team's evolving. We need to stay part of that. Also the academy becomes important for us as well, we've got a number of players within the youth system that have trained with first team and will continue to do that. That's another avenue is that the system has to keep developing as well, you know the system has to produce players that can come and play at first team level.